What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. So I'm going to pull some cards and get a message out for y'all. I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all. And overall, I hope that they are useful, okay? And with that being said, we're just going to jump right into the video, y'all, okay? Right off the bat, you got the King of Cups coming out. You have the Ten of Cups coming out. Whoa. You got two that came out. You have the Tower. You also have the Three of Swords. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the Four of Cups. And the last two you have is the Ace of Wands and you have the Two of Wands, okay? You got Water Sign Energy out here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Aquarius Energy out here, okay? Somebody could be swearing off day and I just want that to be known as well or like, yeah, with the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, um, you could be in, a, in a, a very, very selfish era of your life. Um, some people can be shocked by this. I feel like you will be shocked to hear about some sort of new beginning someone else is going to be having as well, um, or vice versa. Someone's going to be shocked about some sort of new beginning you are going to have. Um, this could be some sort of creative endeavor as well. It doesn't have to be, you know, in love or anything romantic at all, honestly. It definitely does feel like um, you are on the break of accomplishing something like very, very new. And I feel like this new accomplishment, this new endeavor will pull you away from someone who feels like they have some something to express to you or some sort of emotion for you. Um, someone definitely feels like you are on some sort of high horse, right? Um, and I wouldn't say it's a high horse, but it feels like somebody else would. Um, I'm not sure if someone's acting like hard, whereas like, you know, they're acting like something that you have new going on does not bother them, but it actually like really, really does. This could be, you know, you standing in your power. Um, someone could be acting like, you know, almost like you're pretending. You get what I'm saying? You're pretending that something doesn't bother you. You're pretending that, um, you know, something isn't hurting you. You're pretending that, you know, them not picking you as well isn't bothering you um, also. Like someone is swearing up and down that you are, like you're stuck. You get what I'm saying? It's almost one of those energies to where, you know, oh, I don't want this person anymore. Or, you know, I've moved on. It's that there's someone else does not feel that way. Someone else definitely does feel like you are creating some sort of like, I didn't get the seven of cups, but some sort of illusion um, around you as well. I'm not saying that you're doing that, but the energy definitely of uh, someone else, it feels like um, definitely is projecting it onto you. Um, but whoever this energy is, they are the ones who are actually very, very shocked. Um, and if anything, very, very hurt because um, somebody is very, very, it definitely does feel like confused, especially with this tower, the four cups, the eight of, it's all, like some sort of hurt did not prevent you from moving on, basically. You get what I'm saying? Someone definitely thought they had you kind of like in the bag. You get what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to some sort of pain that they uh, dished out, you get what I'm saying, towards you, all right? Um, someone definitely does feel like... It's, it's weird because it's almost like someone's pretending or... Like, and it's to save their own feelings, I feel like. Like, someone you know, is pretending like, you know, he or she is still bothered by the fact that, you know, I play games or I don't want them or I didn't choose them or, you know, I wasn't that happily ever after, you know, for them. But in reality, there could be a case to where you are actively moving on from a situation or a certain person in particular, um, and you're doing the work to move on. You get what I'm saying? Not saying that things don't hurt you. You're human. You get what I'm saying? You are human with emotions. You get what I'm saying? Um, but that doesn't mean that you are allowing yourself to kind of stay stuck in those emotions. You're actively doing the work to kind of get over anything that kind of like hurts you or anything that kind of stood in your way. All right. And someone definitely is projecting some sort of it feels like emotion onto you. You get what I'm saying? Um, 
and there's definitely some sort of disinterest. Someone knows that it's either like they messed up or they said something wrong to you or like hurt your feelings. And they, they, they really want something for you to be some sort of like facade. Someone definitely is expecting you to like run after them, pine after them, want them back, miss them, etc., etc. Okay. What's this two of wands? And it definitely is given like you chose yourself with the ace of pentacles. Hold on, it fell on the floor. <laughs> with the ace of pentacles for the two of wands. You definitely chose yourself in a certain situation. And I definitely do feel like someone could have some sort of opportunity coming towards them. They could be being um, chosen for some sort of like promotion, some sort of upgrade of any type of sorts. All right. Um, there is some sort of pinnacle coming to you, whether it's the opportunity, you know, glow up when it comes to like your finances. What's this um, two of wands with the ace of pinnacles? With the two of cups. These could even be like, you know, you could be going to like some sort of like networking event as well. You're going to meet somebody. I wouldn't say very, very important, but I would say very, very important because this person may be someone, you know, who puts you onto some sort of like, you know, they be the ones that put you on some sort of like, you know, new endeavor, whatever the case may be. They point you in the right direction to where, you know, they're like, hey, I like your work or, you know, hey, you should do this. You know, someone important is definitely want to come in and it shows some sort of support for you or to keep you pushing um when it comes to whatever sort of creative endeavor that you want to like you know establish yourself in it feels like what's this two of cups with the eight of pentacles literally something regarding like work or something working out for you when it comes to like meeting someone it feels like new and it definitely doesn't have to be romantic this could be a friend again a business partner partner etc etc but something definitely is going to work out in your favor. And someone's very shocked that something's working out in your favor. And it's almost like they feel like something's going to work out in your favor because you left them behind. That's the thing. It's almost like someone's looking at themselves as like in a game where it's like you have that final boss before you reach the next level. Um, it's almost like you slay some sort of dragon or slay some sort of like, quote unquote, demon. You get what I'm saying? And then you're able to kind of like prevail and move on to like the next chapter of your life. And someone definitely feels like you will leave them behind because of this, because of how things flourish after you move on from this certain situation or this certain person. OK, what's this ace of wands? You have the Ten of Wands show his face. What's his Ace of Wands? You have the Hierophant? Yeah. I don't know if someone's going to start a new like business. This could be a new relationship. Someone could just be getting, be getting engaged soon as well. Someone could also be working out. Right now is a very, very good time for you to like really focus on almost like things that matter with the nine of pentacles business is definitely a good time to focus on things that have to do more with like your creative abilities it feels like i'm not really focusing on too much of like you know love or romance or really you know pleasing other people like you know friends whatever except mm. What's the ace of wands with the hierophant i'm sorry yeah. what's the ace of wands with the hierophant we got the knight of swords if you have something new you want to showcase, I would say do it. You get what I'm saying? If you, you could be even going back to school. Because right now it's definitely showing like it's, 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 it's go time for you. It's time for you to step back into like your power. It's time for you to step back out there. You know, if it is social media with the hangman, you've been on pause long enough. Um, especially if you did have to take a break. Excuse me. Excuse me, if you did have to take some sort of like break, you get what I'm saying? You know, breaks are necessary <laughs> in, in, in anything that you do. Um, but it's definitely giving me the energy where it's like now it, it, it's time. Like you sat down long enough. You, you know, you, you almost like you've recovered long enough now. Like it's time for you to step back out there. It's time for people to see you. It's time for people to hear you again. You get what I'm saying? Um, you got Taurus energy out here as well. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to take action. Someone thought you were like gone. I don't know what that energy is about, but especially if you haven't like, if you had to take a break or you went on vacation or not necessarily vacation, but it's something to where you had to take a break from something or you weren't seen in a certain area or at a certain place. It's almost like someone thought like, yes, he or she is like gone or they're taking some sort of like hiatus or they have to or something's going on in their life. Um, and it's almost like the moment you come back, because this could even be some sort of, I wouldn't say competitor, meaning like, you know, people are competing with you, but if, hey, if you feel that way, shit, maybe they are. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm not really getting that you're necessarily competing with anybody else, but it's definitely giving that um, 
you know, because that's the thing. Sometimes people, when you when they do see you doing good or you, you, you do receive some sort of praise or, you know, acknowledgement, sometimes it can fester up, um, especially in low vibrational people, some sort of animosity, some sort of like... Um, tension you get what i'm saying because some people do want to be the best of the best you get what i'm saying and they want to beat out other people or they want to beat out you know quote unquote other you know competitors um and i definitely don't feel like that is your energy um this is somebody who definitely pretends to be empathic um or try to pretend to be like kind or like helpful you get what i'm saying but behind the scenes they're actually very like spiteful especially to those who they deem receives a lot more praise than them again more accolades than them or you know more kind words or whatever the case may be but it feels like the moment you step back into action and you start to put out you know whatever content that you do or you step back into a certain place or you know a certain job or whatever the case may be that's when some sort of like shit he's back or shit she's back type of like energy what's this for a cups you got the knight of cups yeah, someone. Because <laughs> I don't know what you do for work or how you show up in the world. Like, this could even be like a friend group. Say you had to, you know, take a break from going out with friends. Someone definitely felt like they were receiving some sort of, like, more attention without you being there. And it's almost like now that it's almost like, especially with the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords, the moment you step back into taking action at some sort of workplace or, you know, if you're a content creator or whatever, this person definitely feels like now they're being ignored and all the all the attention that they were getting is now coming towards you, basically, Okay. Like they feel like people are bored with them again. Like for that that small millisecond, they are receiving, you know, more views or not even, especially if you're not a content creator or, you know, um, you do work a nine to five because again, every job is important. You know, not everybody wants to be on camera or in, you know, on social media, you know, in the limelight on social media, or whatever. But um, again, this could definitely be, you know, a workplace. Definitely could be some sort of like workplace, okay? Especially with that higher fan, but this could also be like a friend group. Okay, this could also be like, I wouldn't say family, but it definitely could be. Like someone definitely is just upset that the attention that they once were getting with you not being around, they're not getting it anymore. They're getting a lot less of it because you're coming back, okay? Or you're stepping back into your rightful throne, I guess you could say, okay? What's the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups? Literally, with the sun. You got Leo energy out here. You're coming out as someone who's very, very positive, very, very bright very very attractive like and it's a thing to wear literally with the six of wands um you have a beautiful aura about you i feel like um no matter how you look at yourself you get what i'm saying um you know beauty is that in the eye of the like the beholder you know i personally think everybody is beautiful um that's just me though you get what i'm saying but especially people's personalities you get what i'm saying your personality to me makes you 10 times more beautiful and that's actually what this energy is kind of like at least right now it's kind of like conveying especially with that um Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Sun, again, is almost like, you know, someone could be attractive, but it's like their energy is like trash or their personality is like garbage in a sense. I'm not saying it. It's just whatever. It's the energy and I'm going to just read it out. But it's almost like um, someone could be very, very good at their job, but it's almost like their personality kind of like kills any type of like actual potential someone like has but when it comes to you you have the beauties the brain the personality the style almost but it's something with your personality it's something with your aura it's very bright it's very uplifting someone really likes your face structure like your eyebrows your eyes your nose your your lips someone not and i'm not saying that they are looking solely at that but it's almost like that's a plus to your personality like someone got past or people are getting past the way you look and it's almost like wow she or he like they actually have an, an, an amazing personality an amazing aura and it is a plus that they actually are attractive or they're easy on the eyes what's the sun card you got the Knight of Pentacles. And what's the Sun card with the Knight of Pentacles? You got the, uh, you had three coming out. Hold on. You got the Chariot. You have the Empress and you have the Devil. Yeah. People really adore you. I'm not even looking at the Devil as like um, 
in a negative way because it's, it's honestly not coming out that way with the surrounding cards with the sun the knight of pentacles the chair the chariot the empress with the devil um you have a very alluring aura about you i want to be honest with you very hypnotic um like people <laughs> your people could like not touch you in a weird way but it's almost like people really want to get close to your energy um it's very alluring like i said before um you could be a capricorn heavy taurus libra cancer leo okay um shine bright by uh rihanna or it's called diamond i think it is someone's name can be diamond okay someone can have a child named diamond a friend named diamond something very very strongly with um the name or the word diamond especially with the song by rihanna diamond i would definitely listen to that okay um because it's definitely it, i can feel that <laughs> like it's something with diamond by rihanna um you're shining very, very bright right now, okay? You could definitely be pregnant, all right? You can have a son, all right? Or sons, uh, but you could definitely have a son, plural or singular. And I wouldn't say people are obsessed with you, but it's like people definitely wait to kind of like see you, almost because it's like, I don't feel like you realize how happy you make people with just showing up, like, um... Your work speaks for itself, and I definitely do feel like it's it. You you do incredible work, whatever you do, especially if you are online as well. Um, you could definitely help people, but again, you definitely um, overall you shine. I'm trying to get the messages back on track, okay? But I definitely should move on. What's this devil card? But yeah, it's something with you just showing up. People really love the fact that you, they, I don't know. It's something with people like really, really love you, like you with the high priestess. You could even feel this. You could know this as well. Like you could know you're something special. You are something special. You could be a tarot reader as well, watching. You have a very promising gift. Um, you have a gift that should not be wasted. All right. Um, and that could be a gift in anything, you know especially something that you're good at. You were blessed and born to do something very, very specific. Um, not a lot of things, not whatever this gift is, not a lot of people can do it and not a lot of people can do it as well as you. Um, and it's almost like um, whatever you do, there's a lot of, oh goodness, there's a lot of fakes, I guess you can say, or a lot of people who do something that you do for like the wrong reasons, whether it's a money grab, you know, whether it's, just to be doing it, you get what I'm saying, for attention or because it's a trend right now, whatever the case may be. I'm not going to say especially if it's tarot, you get what I'm saying, because I, I'm not the judge of that, you get what I'm saying. But for some reason, people really like you because it's almost like you don't, you're not expecting anything in return besides like, I, I guess, like support. Or like, I would say encouragement, but it's more like support. And it's like people can feel it themselves, especially people who are intuitive themselves or people who are empathic or, yeah, literally just that. Like people know you're doing something for the right reason, especially if it's a job. Say you do work in healthcare, you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody can work in healthcare. Not everybody really truly cares about people. You know, healthcare is a job that has good money i'm not even gonna lie to you and some people definitely do venture and i'm just using this as an example you know um and this is just my opinion you know you can agree or disagree but a lot of times people go into healthcare with the idea of i'm about to make millions but in reality it's like you actually do have to care to help these people before before you reach these millions you get what i'm saying or before you think you're going to reach any type of milestone or any type of like real big pay i guess you could say like you actually have to care first you get what i'm saying because if you don't it's going to kind of show in your work you get what i'm saying and that's how people are kind of like viewing you whatever you do for um for work so to speak this is definitely talking about work um and your advancements kind of like in life and who you kind of like are um people know you are i want to say like the truth and I wouldn't say it makes people like obsessed, but people definitely chop at the bits to like see you. Like it's almost like nail biting. Like when is she going to come back? When is he going to come back? When, you know, I, I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see him. That type of like energy, you know, I need, I need their, I need their advice. I need their input. You know, you have friends who 
you know, especially if you did have to take a break, you have to focus on different areas of your life. You know, you have certain friends to where, you know, they respect your boundaries, but it's also like they can't wait to see you. They can't wait to talk to you. They want advice about this guy or this or this woman or whatever the case may be or this relationship and this problem. Like you have people who really want to hear what you have to say or, you know, hear your advice and, you know, really hear the encouraging words that you have to like spill out. Like you make people feel really, 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 really good. I need you to know that right now. You make people feel really good. Let's see. What's this high, the high priestess and this devil? You got Pisces energy out here as well. What's the high priestess and the devil? You got the four wands coming out. I want to say, especially if you are like someone who deems it's like, you're like scary good at something. I don't know what that's like about. Um, and it feels like you are one with yourself, okay? You are a very balanced energy. Yes, this talks about, you know, celebrating, um, you know, um, marriage possibly as well. To me, it's like a, you know, a home as well to me. Um, but it's almost like it also speaks about oneness, you know, to me. That's how I kind of read the four wands, depending on the cards, especially with the high priestess and the devil. You are definitely someone who embodies a very, very light energy, I feel like, and a very, very dark energy. And when I mean dark energy, it means like you are able to kind of see past low vibrational people and know at the end of the day if anybody is hitting you with anything low vibrational whether it's an argument a disagreement whatever the case may be you know how to kind of just not take it on take it on head on excuse me let me get my words together but it's a thing to where you have grown to the point where you know everybody won't be high vibrational you know it's the real world people are going to go through things you get what i'm saying you've grown through different things you weren't always at a high vibration you get what i'm saying you had moments to where you probably lashed out or you probably didn't look you know um so positive in your own right or you, you know you didn't always feel that way to where you give other basically you give other people grace you get what i'm saying not saying you put up with certain disrespect not saying that you entertain it but you also know like you know my life could be going in a very very good direction right now but that doesn't mean that's the case for everybody everybody is going to experience different hardships and different trials and tribulations all throughout their life but especially if someone's you know, lashing out or they're trolling or, you know, someone's having a bad day where you know not to kind of take it personally at this point. It can be hard, you get what I'm saying? Um, but you know not to take it personally. And that's what I mean by having a very, very light energy and a very, very dark one. You know how to kind of mellow those out and you know how to kind of control your own light and dark energy, you know? Hopefully that makes like sense, but people feel like you're a very, very overall, very, very well-balanced individual. Okay, and it definitely is something where you do something very, very, it's scary how well you do something almost. What's the high priestess, the devil and the four wands with the queen of swords and the seven, literally. <laughs> You know not to take certain things per you've grown a lot. Like someone's very, very and people may not even, especially from fixed value, like I'm not saying you don't give off a studious look, but some people could look at you for face value, meaning like, oh, he's just pretty, she's just pretty. Like that's that's really all it is. But actually you're very, very intelligent. You know how to maneuver almost like energies when it comes to like really maneuver in the real world. What am I trying to convey here? Like you, you do not let people's projections bother you. Like you know when someone's projecting onto you, whether it's in a work, you know, an actual working environment or online, you know how to handle projections. Like you know what energies is yours and you know what energy is not yours. And you know when people say certain things to you, you know it's because they actually feel some sort of way about like themselves. I can't really explain it too well but it's something with you not allowing people's projections to really bother you and i want to be honest it bothers those who feel like the projection that they're sending out to you is not bothering you like it really bothers people or a certain person 
It really does. What's the Eight of Swords? You got the Three of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> With the Page of Cups, someone I feel like is very, very immature. Um, someone who definitely wants to, you have somebody who wants to speak to you. Um, it doesn't even necessarily feel like it's a love interest. You know, take this part how it resonates. Um, because this could be someone who is supposed to care for you, basically, with this King of Cups. We're going to get to the King of Cups to see exactly who that energy is. Because um, this could even be a thing to where you are being represented as this King of Cups, right? But especially with this Eight of Swords and this Three of Cups, it's almost like, especially what I was saying where someone was pretending like you were the one casting illusions about like not caring that they didn't like choose you or they don't show you some sort of like love someone is like really stuck and like baffled by the fact that like you aren't trying to reconcile you're not really giving them too much emotion to kind of like work up like it definitely does feel like someone's an energy vampire and the way to cut off an energy vampire is by not giving them your energy you get what i'm saying really limiting access when it comes to you and it's almost like someone wants I wouldn't say once people, but I am going to say once people, because um, let somebody bring you up, they're definitely going to like make it seem like you were the one wanting some sort of reconciliation. But it definitely does feel like someone is, even if you are wanting some sort of reconciliation, someone's wanting a reconciliation just as bad as you, but especially if you don't really care for whoever this energy is resonating for someone really wants a reconciliation with you. Someone wants to um, like talk to you, be your friend again, whatever the case may be. Um, they're stuck on that. Okay. They're stuck on wanting like your attention. This could be someone like, I'm not saying be mean, you get what I'm saying, but this could be someone who's like nagging you. Like say you did get your number to like a guy or a girl, whatever the case may be. Um, and it's like, they're annoying. <laughs> like I can't like, like say like you know you were testing it out like okay i'm going to talk to her i'm going to talk to him and then it's just like okay at one point in time you stop feeling him or you stop feeling her and it's almost like this is somebody who's really really stuck on the fact that is like you don't want to talk to them um or you don't really you're not interested in them in that way you get what i'm saying it's giving that kind of like energy is actually giving me like the hermit energy like you possibly ghosting someone as well um and someone's like really, really stuck on that. They're trying to n pretend like that's not bothering them when it really, really is. What's the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups? Whoa, you got a few coming out. You got the Judgment, you have the Hermit coming out. You have the Seven of Cups and you have the Moon. Someone is definitely casting it feels like their own illusions onto themselves. Someone's really projecting, it feels like, onto you. And it doesn't really feel like, because this could be a thing to where they're not, like, they don't even realize they're projecting onto you, but it's a thing to where there's some sort of facade that's being put up to where someone's pretending like they don't care or you're the one with this secret emotion, but in reality, it's them or it's them as well. And it's like someone's having a hard time realizing that because it's almost giving, like, someone wants to speak to you or befriend you or reconcile with you very very badly but it's almost like they want you to feel that way too and not even just that they want you to almost like really really pine after them like someone feels like a viewer is just they're they're hiding their emotions they're being stubborn and they're trying to act like they don't want me anymore they're trying to act like they're moving on but you could be actively trying to move on um you could be you could actively be getting over a situation you know but this person isn't recognizing like their own truth to where you know they're confusing themselves at this point because they're not being honest about their own emotions they're not being honest about the things that they truly want um okay and someone definitely thought that they like had possibly like other options as well. They definitely could be saying this to like other friends. There are other options. You got Cancer, Pisces energy out here, Virgo, Libra. 
yeah it's like someone's kind of like waiting to call your like your bluff especially if you are like in no contact it's almost like you could be wanting to speak to somebody but someone could be wanting to speak to you just as much and it's almost like they're holding back on purpose like someone finds a lot of like pride and ego when like holding back like someone thinks it makes them the man or like the woman if they do that when in reality is like you're going to the longer someone not speaks to you it's almost like making you more comfortable with not like being around them with not speaking to them kind of like at all and it's almost like they're not realizing that like someone mm, is like hurting their own feelings like they're confused as to why like okay if i hold back why is that like they're confused as to why them basically being secretive with their emotions is not working you get what i'm saying like i'm not telling him everything i'm not telling her everything this should have them going crazy it should have them you know blowing me up why aren't you hitting me up who are you with you know you know it, it should have you questioning it should have you in some sort of like confused state of mind but in reality it's it's helping you move on and i feel like someone's not realizing that especially if there was a pattern to where you did do that you know someone did ghost or they just disappeared you know you became you know confused at one point in time you did blow them up you know we're human you get what i'm saying um there was some sort of codependency that i feel like someone once had you kind of like in to where it's like they've done it so much to where it's like this little ball that they kept you in like kept cracking every single time to where it opened fully up and you escaped like you got out like you you realized the game you realized the trick and you realized the triggers that this person kept trying to um basically like provoking you like mm, it definitely feels a little abusive i'm not gonna lie um mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the moon and the um, seven of cups? You got the lovers. <laughs> you got Gemini energy, communication with the ace of cups at the bottom. Excuse me. What's this hermit? And you have the temperance. Literally, like with someone being gone or someone acting like they don't want to speak to you or like ghosting you, it's almost like you are like... I'm at peace with that. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if somebody is doing that to you, they don't really want you. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know, and that's any relationship, platonic or romantic, is like, it takes two to kind of like tango. You get what I'm saying? If someone is like acting like they don't really feel like being bothered with you or they're playing like games with you, not to mention they really don't want you, especially when you hit a certain age, it's like, that shit gets old. It's like, <laughs> do you want to entertain the situation or do you not? You get what I'm saying? Do you want to entertain just me or do you want to entertain me and a bunch of other people? Like, let me know something. And it's almost like you're... you're Mm -hmm. you're you're really at peace with how something is 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 panning out how something is 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 going and it's almost like someone cannot fathom the fact that it's almost like you are okay to the point where they are projecting the fact that they're not okay onto you like however they're feeling they're not like, i know he or she feels the same way like if i feel this way they have to feel this way or why do i feel this way like someone's like really going nuts and I feel like it's because of, like, they're misleading their own truth. They're misleading their own, like, feelings. Seriously. Especially if someone, like, ghosted or they're trying to act like they're holding back from you. It's like the only person they're, like, starting to hurt is themselves. And they see that. Especially if you're flourishing in your own life or, you know, you're putting more attention back into your kids, back into your family, back into, you know, any sector of your life that you feel and deem is important and deserves more attention to i feel like you're doing that or you're going to do that and it's really going to catch the attention of somebody or people who feel as though they can kind of like play with you or toy with you like emotionally because that's what that energy kind of feels like as someone who wants to toy with you emotionally especially if this energy whether it's a, a certain person or people were able to in the past um again provoke some sort of like trigger um someone's like abusive in that way like especially again if they were able to do that in the past it's like they want to be able to continue to yeah like bother you or like trigger you you got sagittarius energy out here as well
What's the um, lover's card? You got the Ten of Swords. You got the Justice. I don't know why, but this could definitely be a friend group. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen like Cheetah Girls. Oh, I feel I'm gonna be so embarrassed saying this, but it's whatever, um, cause it could be for someone. Um, it's over, I think the song is, by the Cheetah Girls. It's like when they all fell out or whatever. It's, I think this, the second one, when they went to Barcelona, I think that's what it is. And I think it's called It's Over. That's when like they were singing, I don't know, when they were singing like about each other and they thought like their group was gonna like end and their friendship was like going to end or whatever. Cause that's what it's definitely giving, especially if this is like a friend group. Yeah, like someone feels like, yeah, they did like a lot of damage to this. Like it's basically like someone feels like they did a lot of damage to a relationship with you to the point where there is a possibility of no type of like mending it. Like there's a lot more pain in a certain situation than there is like joy or like love or like genuineness. Like someone feels like, okay, I didn't cast you so many illusions or I, were, I was being dishonest with about like how I feel and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. How do I come back to viewer? You know, how do I make things, how do I, you know, make things right with them? And I, and I, I damaged the relationship so much, you know what I mean? Or I lied so much. It's like, how are they going to believe anything I say? Or, you know, if I do apologize, are they going to even like believe me or find me like sincere, so to speak, okay? Because there's an energy where I feel like you, you won't, <laughs> you know, it's definitely given, you know, if someone does try to apologize or reach out or, you know, befriend you again is almost like subconsciously you're going to side eye them. Like subconsciously you, you will have a guard up. I definitely do feel like energetically um, you definitely, especially because if you're not doing well for yourself or you don't deem like you are, you know, you feel like, you know, I have more work or I want to go back to school, you know. Um, that's perfectly fine, but I definitely do feel like if you aren't already at this place or you are already at this place, the moment someone finally does come to some sort of like realization that they do want to connect with you or apologize or whatever, it's almost like energetically, you're going to be too far gone. Even if you didn't move away, you get what I'm saying, from this person or there's not necessarily distance between y'all because there could be a thing as well where you do move or you know there's distance put between y'all you get what i'm saying to where it, that's another thing that's going to make it kind of easier for you and harder for whoever this energy is um but even if that's not the case it's almost like energetically you're going to be so far gone that someone's like it's almost like the karma i guess you could say is like losing you and it's like seeing you floor is seeing you kind of like happy i'm not even gonna lie like someone's karma because we don't wish karma at least not on this channel um because to me that's just all projection <laughs> um but the in hindsight when it comes to you someone else's karma or people's karma is seeing you flourish is seeing you happy seeing you do well you know what i'm saying in all sectors of your life you know romantically you know platonically you know um financially and on every aspect like in seeing you happy kind of like without them you get what i'm saying seeing you reach certain milestones and you know prevail in different areas of your life to where they did not help you they can't you know you don't have to give them credit for anything it's seeing you do well without having to give them any sort of praise like you, you did this on your own I, I, I managed to, you know, run a successful business on my own. I managed to get some sort of promotion on my own. I managed to graduate, you know, on my own, whether it's high school, college, you know, grad school, whatever. I managed to do this on my own. Nobody helped me. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I should give me a shirt. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> What's the lovers in the Ten of Swords? With the Nine of Pentacles. The karma is seeing you do it all on your own.
with their lovers, the ten of swords, you got the yeah. Especially if you want to talk about karma or someone receiving it, it's it's seeing you do well all on your own. I don't know who you are, man or woman, but you look good, child. You are looking good, especially energetically. I'm just curious. What's the nine of pentacles? I'm curious. You got the two of pentacles. And again, you could run some sort of... Been, you, you seem very busy. You seem very, very, very busy. Like, you seem like you have a lot of things going on for yourself. You could work a nine to five and have, like, a hustle, you know, on the side as well. You could be taking care of your family. Like, you're doing things that matter to you. You're doing things that make you happy. You're staying busy. And it's almost like... Whoever, does, whoever these energies are, because again, it could be more than one person, because I am getting like the Ten of Cups, I got the Ten of Swords. Because um, again, these could be just past people just in general, you get what I'm saying? And it's almost like, these are people who aren't as busy as you, you get what I'm saying? Who are, they have a lot of time to think, they have a lot of time to reminisce on the things that was said, the things that was done, to where it's like, you could think about the things that people have done to you, you can think about the things, you know, that people said to you, but it's almost like with you being busy, with you putting, you know, action into a business and 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 and, and upgrading in, in your life, you get what I'm saying? Going back to school, whatever, it's it's not embedded in your mind as much as it is for those who are kind of just like doing the bare minimum when it comes to their own life. You get what I'm saying? Like you're busy. So you don't really have a lot of time to think about things that didn't go in your favor. You know, the people who didn't necessarily, you know, choose you, the people who, you know, discredited you, you know, scapegoated you. Like you don't, you don't have time to think about that because you have a lot of more important things going on for yourself right now. You get what I'm saying? I honestly want to say like the, it feels like the divine is very happy. It's a very, very joyous, joyous energy, excuse me. Very, very warm. It's like a hug. <laughs> like a woo. <laughs> What's the king of cups? You got the world and the six of wands. <laughs> you got, um, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy, heavy Leo energy with the six of wands in the world, heavy Scorpio with the king of um, cups in the world. What's the six of wands in the world? I got two more. You got the justice. In you are coming out as the king of cups. You are coming out as someone, no matter if you are a man or a woman. Um, you're coming out as someone who really knows themselves. Again, it's, it goes back to the, the projection. Like, no one can kind of like tell you at this point anything about you that you kind of don't already know yourself when it comes to you. And it's almost like if anything, if anybody has anything negative, it feels like to say about you is almost like, like you know yourself now, wherever you are right now, you know yourself to a point to where if anybody has anything unkind to kind of like say about you um, or unfavorable, it's almost like you don't really pay any attention to it. Like you come, you're coming off as someone who really loves themselves, someone who really knows themselves. You really, really are. You could be a Libra as well. Like people, it's hard for people to project on you, especially now, especially if they were able to before, especially if you're someone who definitely, you know, resonates with like being able to feel different like energies. Again, that goes back to projections as well. That's heavy in this reading because it definitely feels like you have a lot of people who want to project on you, especially the projection of like doubt being uncertain. And uncertain about anything. It's almost like you, yeah, you've grown to really, it feels like to really love yourself. Like you've mastered that. You've mastered self or you're mastering self actively. Like you're working on that. That's good, y'all. That's good. What's this uh, Ten of Cups? I got the Hangman. 
heavy Pisces energy. What's the Ten of Cups and the Hangman? What's up? Why are you staring at me, girl? And you got the strength. If only y'all could see her, like. <laughs> What's the Ten of Cups, the Hangman, and the strength? You got the Two of Swords. What's the Ten of Cups? You got the Page of Pentacles. What's the Two of Swords? You got the Five of Cups. And what's the Page of Pentacles? You got the Knight of Wands. You got the Eight of Wands. And you got the five of wands. Mm. I definitely do feel like with this ten of cups, you definitely did have, I won't say like community of people, right? With the fool at the bottom. But I definitely do want to say like you definitely experienced, especially with that ten of cups, because it was definitely confusing me with the surrounding cards. I'm not even going to lie. With the hangman, the strength, had the two of swords, the page of pentacles for the ten of cups. Then to clarify, the Two of Swords, you had the Five of uh, Cups. And then the Page of Pentacles, you had the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands with the Five. You experienced a lot of cold, a lot of hot and cold energies. I want that to be said first. <laughs> um, you had a lot of people who wanted to, with that Ten of Cups, you had a lot of people who wanted to kind of like make you feel like you possibly didn't deserve happiness. Or like, mm. Like you didn't deserve like love or they wanted you to feel unloved or like they wanted to block the feeling of feeling. <laughs> they wanted to block the feeling of you feeling like you are somebody who was deserving of it. Um, this is actually very, very like this energy is actually very sad. Um, Because it's very low vibrational, I feel like. It's very saddening to feel this energy. Because these are people, I feel like, who don't deserve to be around you. And I'm saying people because it's the Ten of Cups. Um, and these could be family members, friends, and lovers. It definitely is giving me, like, especially if, you, if you've experienced this from family to where they kind of, like, shunned you. Or made you feel less appreciated. Made you feel like, you know... You were like an outsider or like, you know, they ganged up on you, whatever the case may be. Um, could be friends as well. Could be family. I mean, lovers, excuse me, I already said family. But you definitely could have experienced the bare minimum when it came to people giving to you um, emotionally and not even necessarily that but it could came with like mm. like it could have been very very fake some sort of like love or some sort of like emotion i'm trying to get the words together but you could have definitely had a hard time trusting different people because of your experiences with those who you've once trusted and ones you thought you could trust and with those who you felt like genuinely loved you or genuinely liked you like that could be a hard wound for you to heal right now i definitely do feel like you will heal that wound i'm encouraging you to heal that wound um believe it or not we all deserve love you deserve love <laughs> you are loved and there's a thing to where you definitely did have people who wanted you to feel like you didn't or you had to fight for it or in order to receive their love, you had to kind of like obey by like their rules or what they expected from you. Good girl, mommy. That train and paying off, baby. <laughs> Good girl. Um, 
with your tree after. Yeah, like you had a lot of people who really wanted you to fight for their affection, their love. They felt like you, they wanted you to feel like you had to. You don't have to do that. Yeah, this Ten of Cups energy is sad as shit. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you. Can I get one more? What's the Ten of Cups? What's the Ten of Cups? You got the four, yeah. You moved past that energy. That Ten of Cups energy was sad, literally, with the Fool, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Cups. You were dealing with, yeah, with the, you were, whew, baby. When I say you definitely do have people who are regretting treating you a certain way, especially emotionally, especially if it's family, friends, and or old lovers. And it's almost like they mainly regret it because you were strong enough to kind of like get over certain things, move on from certain things. And it's almost like, you know, the truth. And it's almost like, so say if you had family members, I'll use this as an example. You had family members who came together to collectively shun you, you know, cast you out. You get what I'm saying? Disown you, whatever, however you choose the word, it, right? And it's almost like, instead of fighting different allegations, going back and forth to prove a point, you allowed the pieces to kind of like fall where they may. You believed in your truth, basically. If you weren't wrong in, in, in a situation, you didn't fight that. You didn't try to prove your side. You didn't try to prove yourself and you let it go, right? And you moved on. These people see you doing better. These people know you are doing better. These people know you know the truth about the things that they try to do to you. You know p different people's true characters. Because these are people who definitely try to cast illusions when it comes to who they truly are. It's definitely like a mask. These people definitely try to paint you out to be a certain way that just doesn't align to you. Projection. And it's almost like without you fighting kind of like back, it scares them because it's almost like the picture they tried to paint of you is it's not it's, it's not sticking like for for lack of better words it's, it's not sticking like you know the truth you know these people are emotionally stunted it feels like somebody's emotionally stunted and even if people are coming people are going to start coming towards you for the truth about these emotionally immature people And if people are trying to get the truth about some sort of situation, they know these people are emotionally like stunted or immature as well. If you feel like people don't know the truth of a certain situation, people see something for exactly for what it is. Like if you were outcasted again, especially if this is like family, a friend group is definitely giving family though. Again, take it however it resonates. This could be a lover and their family. You get what I'm saying? Take it however it resonates. They see the truth. They see it. They know it. These people know you didn't do anything wrong. They know you were like outcasted. They know it's kind of like they forced your hand to move in a different direction. The divine carries you, child. The divine carries you. Carries you. What's this tower? What's the tower? You got the five of pentacles. What's the tower and the five of pentacles? Whoa, 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 whoa. You got the emperor coming out. You got the seven of pentacles. And you have the will of fortune. 
people definitely are shocked that for some reason, like you're not out in the cold with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be an Aries, again, an Aquarius. People are even surprised that like whatever you are investing, you could have definitely came from like rags to riches type of like energy or your story is going to be some sort of like rags to riches type of like story. People definitely felt like they defeated you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> People, this energy right now with this 10 of cups tower, I'm only certain the three of swords is gonna be a, a sack of shit, but... <laughs> People are very, very surprised that it's almost like you you dust yourself off and you're trying again. Try Again by Aaliyah. It's a lot of songs today. Try Again by Aaliyah. Something that you are investing in or that you are going to invest in is really going to work out in your future. I definitely do feel like you're being spiritually guided um, to do something that is really going to be able to kind of help you sustain some sort of lifestyle, help you kind of like get back on your feet if you aren't already on your feet now. You definitely learned a lot of lessons that will make you a phenomenal man or woman. The Empress and the Emperor is out here. It's going to make you a phenomenal parent if that's what you choose to be if you aren't already. You have learned a lot. I feel like not only just about yourself, but how people work, I feel like. You know, not everybody is the same. Not everybody is going to think like you. Not everybody is going to care like you as well. And again, I definitely do feel like you, people plan for you to be left out in the cold, seriously. Seriously. People definitely do hate the fact that you shine. And it's almost like they wanted to shun you almost for shining. They wanted you to be painted as this monster because you shine. People really, your light really irritates people's demons, especially people who knew you. It's something with people who knew you, like low vibrational family, low vibrational friends, low vibrational lovers. Your shine irritated them, like you outshined them and they hated that about you. They wanted you to be left out in the cold. They wanted people, whatever they projected onto you, they wanted people to believe it. They wanted people to also start projecting that negative energy that they told them about you onto you as well. They wanted to make it very hard for you to see you as you. What's this three of swords? You got the king of wands. What's the three of swords and the king of wands? You got the ten of pentacles. You can have a fire sign family member who's like really, really hurt as well or hurt by something that you're doing or like speaking your truth, standing in your truth with the king of pentacles. With the page of swords. Hmm. What's the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles? What's the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles? You have the Queen of Wands. Especially if you have like, it's a fire sign male, a fire sign woman, and there's a King of Pentacles, no matter if it's a man or a woman, this person is in masculine energy. Same with the King of Wands. Mm -hmm. You have three people hurt. These people could be family. What's this Ten of Pentacles? With the Nine of Swords. You have people very, very regretful from the way they treated you. These people are very, very hurt. These people are very low vibrational. These people hurt themselves. I don't know what this part is with this Three of Swords. Yeah, with the Five of Swords. Some you had like family members or like friends who wanted with the death for something to be over for you could even be a Scorpio. And the fact that something isn't over is almost like whatever they were trying to paint you at. Like they feel so like so, you had people feeling very, very disturbed and disgusting about how they like treated you. I cannot I can't shake that. With the three of wands. And I definitely do feel like do as you may, but you will be hearing from people. Who like wronged you yeah with this death 
and the magician with the king with the queen of cups they want to manipulate your emotions i'd be very careful especially if you've reached some sort of milestone and you have family members who shunned you or whatever you're going to have people oh, especially with that ten of pentacles you're going to reach some sort of milestone where people are really going to try to i don't know you have people really want to manifest some sort of ending for you i would stay away from people who already done you wrong because people are going to try to come back to try to do it again two fire signs and earth sign a couple mm -hmm. these could be siblings aunts uncles but you but this three of swords people mm. And with this nine of swords, people are very regretful that whatever sort of three of swords energy they tried to dish out at you, it did not work. You had people really trying to manifest some sort of downfall for you, some sort of ending for you, and it is not going to work. It didn't work. <laughs> and they're going to be very regretful for it. Like people are going to see them for exactly who they are. And I feel like with that nine of swords, it's going to eat them up alive. Because it's almost like people are around these individuals and not even really telling them how they feel. Like they can feel like it's a thing to where you like if you ever done something wrong and you got to go back in front of like it's almost that energy to where what do they know? What do you know? What what does he or she know? You get what I'm saying? It's almost like especially if there's other family members who, you know, are just in the middle of a situation or other friends is almost like they kind of know the truth. And it's because these people know who you are. So it's almost like the people who wronged you. They're like, they feel ashamed, yes, but they only feel ashamed because something did not work out in their favor. Some sort of manipulation, some sort of wrongdoing, some sort of lashing out, some sort of manipulation to like end you did not work. And it's almost like the fact that they even tried to collectively come together or take something out on you, the fact that they even tried to do that really makes them look like devious it really makes them look very very like oh my goodness i gotta get out of that because it's already long enough y'all but yeah yeah you have people who are very very regretful by the things that they try to dish out at you okay especially when it came to like outcasting you projecting onto you making you feel like oh gosh worthless it feels like Cause it's weird it's that yeah that three of swords energy whoa <laughs> but y'all that was the re and i definitely do hope that the messages resonate for y'all and i definitely do hope overall that the messages were useful she always tried to kiss me on the mouth and i don't know if y'all can see me dreamy dreamy baby sorry <laughs> But um, y'all, those are the messages. I definitely do hope that the messages resonate for y'all. And overall, the messages were useful. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.